guest can be seen every Tuesday night on the popular NBC show Scrubs. Please welcome Sarah Chalk. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. So <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, let's go. Uh, I'd like your mood hair to be a little higher. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, I'm feeling sorry. A little sorry, now you've made me self conscious. Uh, me too. It's never me happened too. before. Um, welcome to the show. Good to have you here again. Uh, and I want to say something. First of all, Scrubs, uh, I've talked to you about this before, but very funny show. Thank and you're you. very funny on it. So are you. Oh, thank you. I'm not on that show. Uh, <laughs> I know, but we kind of want you to be so. Yeah. <laughs> That's hey, why anytime, I'm here actually anytime. to drag you over um, there. I don't know what the part would be, but I can run it at any point and just salute the camera and run off. Done. <laughs> Done. Uh, now, you've been doing this show for a, a while, and it seems, seems like, how many seasons has it been now? Has it been? We're on our fifth. Fifth season? That's hard to believe. Yeah, it's crazy. And now, I'm, I don't know if I'm mistaken, but it seems like they're working animals into the show now. <laughs> More than ever. I've turned it a few times. It seems like they, someone on the show just loves trying to get animals into well, the script so that you guys have to interact with an animal. Is that true? Yeah, and more this year than any other season. Mm -hmm. I actually really want your evil puppy on now. Who I'm kind of obsessed with. Watch out for that but puppy. He I, seems people go on uh, and then, and then they no. burn in hell forever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Yeah. Um, we had uh, this year like raccoons, rats, um, a giant black bear, ostriches. Mm -hmm. Jason Bateman comes on to play this ostrich farmer. Okay, I've, I've never been around an ostrich. What's an ostrich like? Well, the writers had just read somewhere that um, ostriches are actually the second fastest animal next to a cheetah. Right. And uh, they can kill someone with their kick. And so they read that and they were like, okay, I guess we need to write ostriches into the script because that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. So you had to be around this animal and was there a handler there saying beware of his deadly kick or something? Or? <laughs> yes, and we actually also got warned that if you actually get into a problem with the ostrich, you lie down on the ground because they kick you and they kill you because they can kick as hard as a horse, but they have sharp claws on the end. So they kick you and then grab your heart and pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> And then show it to you and go, oh. yeah. Right, exactly. That's what they told us. And, but if you lie down on the ground, they can only kick straight out. And so then if you're on the ground, they can just, like, stomp on you a little bit. See, that's terrible. <laughs> I, I hate that every, all the advice is always around, whether it's a deadly bear or, in this case, a killer ostrich, the advice is always lay down in front of it. <laughs> which, and then half the time, those people get killed, and they're like, yeah, only works about half the time. Right, 50% survival rate. So this is an, an ostrich would just jump up and down on top of you. Why wouldn't his deadly claws then be able to pull your heart out from the other side of your body? I, maybe, I mean, Maybe because, like, the, it's the force that, I don't know. I, <laughs> exactly. I'm a doctor. I wish I had the answer. I don't <laughs> We've got to look into these ostrich attacks. <laughs> My favorite also advice is if a shark is attacking you, punch it in the nose. No, it's not. That's what they say, is if a shark is coming near you, punch it in the nose. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. That's perfect, because I really re would probably have like the like, sense of mind to be able to do that in a yeah. situation Yeah, the, the shark would be like, oh, you just hit me in the nose. What can I do to get you back? <laughs> oh, right, giant <laughs> jaw <know>. full of teeth. <laughs> My Bad. biggest fear in life is actually sharks. Sharks yeah. scare you? Yeah. I wonder who would win, a shark or an ostrich, if they were <laughs> fighting each other. I think the other. ostrich would win. Right. Yeah. Let's get that on Fox TV and see what happens. <laughs> totally. Um, now, okay, I know that you grew up in Canada, and, and, and I know a bit about you. What I didn't know is you're very well educated. You, oh. you speak, is this true? You, you, you're trilingual. You speak English, obviously. You speak French, and you speak German. Yeah, my parents were uh, crazy. They thought it was a good idea if my sisters and I went to school all day with all of our classes in French and then went to German school after school. So you, learn, you would speak French all day yeah. and, then, uh, and then learn German afterwards? Yeah, my, uh, my mom's family is German. And so we would speak German with my grandmother. And she lived like three doors away, actually, so we'd always go over there for um, hot chocolate soup with whipping cream for breakfast. What is hot chocolate? Is hot chocolate soup just hot chocolate or is it like a thin soup of chocolate? It's like, heiße Schokolade mit Schlagsahne zum Frühstück. Oh my God. Yeah, which is like, I mean, it's like a nice chocolate soup. Like, why does that sound like that? Like, yeah, why everything... does everything in German sound so angry? <laughs> angry That's so, what is hot, say hot chocolate. It sounds so sweet. Would you like some hot chocolate soup and say it again? Heiße Schokolade mit Schlagsahne. Ah! And is that with whipping cream or is with whipped cream? I surrender. It's yeah. not a romance language. No. Like if I wanted to give you a compliment, what would you? How I would, would you say like, 
Ich liebe deine große, wunderbare Welle mit deiner großen roten Haaren, Kunnen! Oh, wow. What was that? I really like the beautiful, sexy wave in your big red hair. Okay. Well, I like that better. But I like this. This was nice. Like, that helped me a little bit. I thought maybe that's about my hair or a roller coaster. Who's rolling coaster? Heighten so Wow. Right. So if we were in German whispering sweet nothings to each other, it would be both of us. Just, I, 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 I. And that's, what, that's actually what it sounds like. Like, I love you. There's a lot of like. Yeah. In every word. Wow, that is very intense. Yeah. Very intense. Do you get to break out your German very often? Do you get to use it in everyday life, or is it pretty rare? It's very rare. Um, actually, on Scrubs, we use it all the time now because the writers, anytime we're looking for like a button on a scene, they'll just have me scream at someone in German. You know what, I, I, uh, I love the way, f uh, of course, the French language just sounds so amazing. And every time I go to Paris, I, I just love, and I'm so jealous because I, I, I speak Spanish, but I never learned French when I was in uh, you know, elementary right. school and high school. And I always thought I would love to learn French because I hear that everybody's speaking it's, French. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And, and I'm, always, I'm always there and I'm just sort of like, <laughs> oui, oui, oui. oui. Je ne sais pas. Yeah. yeah, I try and make faces like I'm French mm -hmm. when I'm there. Like, <laughs> You know, I, do, I do that a lot. I do that because I just think maybe I'll have a you know mustache and I pretend I have some bread in a basket on my bike and I ride around and a little beret. A little beret. I'm an idiot. Uh, uh, I love it when you come on the show. You're really fun to talk to. Uh, Scrubs, of course, very funny show. Airs Tuesdays at nine and nine thirty on uh, NBC. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Come me. back soon, Sarah Chalk, everybody. Sarah Chalk will be right back with Living Things. Stick around.